I swear, every time he speaks, I'm just like, what? What? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, and so, you know what? I think I'm going to be like um, Tori Hart. I'm going to go ahead and start my comedy because if it were my not my life it's actually funny now <laughs> when i was going through it it wasn't funny but it's funny now because i just think to myself and like you know mm, this is probably why you don't get married at at 18 this is probably why you know it's not the best thing not the best thing but one thing about keller that's so hilarious to me <laughs> is that um like his math, like his math. So uh, first things first. Um, Kel was was 18 years old when um, we were married and when our son was born. And so we were married and our son was born and Kel was 18 years old. So, um, and all of a sudden now, Kel seems to remember about how tragic it was for me in the hospital and how tragic every single pregnancy was because I almost died every single pregnancy so it was a very traumatic time but for so many years oh that slipped Kel's memory um and I know he may think that the rest of the world or, you know, other people think like how he thinks. But, you know, I just want to be as realistic as I possibly can. So um, the very first time that we had sex, um, you know, under I think it was 17. OK, and um, uh, pregnant shortly after. OK, and had the baby shortly after. OK, and this was really shortly after Nick was in my cheerleading uniform on my bed. And I know that's crazy, right? I know that's like, you know what? I have realized that I have, um, I don't know, Asperger's, autism. I don't know. But I know that nowadays people would think like, oh, man, a guy's, you know, and um, his girlfriend's cheerleading outfit, you know, people would think like, why would you want to marry that guy, right? Why would you want to marry that guy? Because, you know, he might be, I don't know, you know, with the rainbows. I love rainbows, by the way. But, you know, I'm saying he might like them more than me. Who knows, you know? So, anywho. Um, <sighs> so, no, but that's not actually what I thought about. I just thought about the fact that Nick and his little balls were in my cheerleading outfit and I was just thinking about how I was going to clean it could it be sanitary um is that possible and has he done this before and have I known and I just everything else went through my mind except for the fact that possibly they were in some sort of romantic relationship because he used to like me to wear the cheerleading outfit so I wasn't thinking like you know that could have been happening because I, he never told me that he was, you know, bisexual. So, anywho, that's, that's, but anyway, um, so yeah, so his, Kel's math isn't mathing. He is not talking about me. I am not the one um, that is pregnant. Um, it's not even physically possible. Uh, the very first time that I had sex, I was impregnated with my son who is here and he's alive and well and there could not have been an abortion in between any of that because obviously that's not how it works, right? Um, so yeah, so we were 18 when our first child was born. So I don't know what he's talking about. And then 19, nobody was born. But that's why I'm saying that, you know, I really do think that sometimes when people have mental issues and they have, well, I don't even know if it's a mental issue, really. I just think that Kill um, is such a bitch that um, he thinks that this is how, like, he stays famous is to just act like like you know like a poor poor guy with my wife cheating on me like it's like it makes the stuff that he did to myself and our children um more tolerable because i'm such a terrible whore slutty woman who sleeps around like what are you talking about like what are you talking about um it's really it's really interesting to me because he lies about stuff that's just ridiculous um very very ridiculous and uh, all of this 
abortions and all this stuff. And the reason why he says all of these things, I think, are because he's a narcissist. And I have done several videos about how narcissists abuse you at your weakest moments. And so one thing that I had to do, and I'm also a mathematician, so I, I'm always paying attention to patterns. And I had made a journal. In my journal, I realized that, oh my gosh, that Kel physically abuses me anytime I come out of the hospital because that's when I'm at my weakest. And so I think that what Kel is trying to do, he's trying to recreate the story to make it to make there be a reason other than the fact that I'm really sick and I have a um you know, critical disease and so I'm forced to go to the hospital a lot. And um so he doesn't want anybody to feel sorry for me with all the medical records. So instead, he's trying to equate me going to the hospital with um, abortions, which is, you know, unfortunately what these kinds of narcissists do. And the older that they get, obviously, the better that they get, because I'm sure nobody would even think to put those two together. But I always would have to think about what Kel was thinking, because this is just what happens when you're in these kinds of relationships that are abusive, because you're constantly trying to figure out, like, how do they get to these crazy ideas in their head? And so you're constantly just trying to figure them out. I don't know if that was just me. I was constantly trying to figure this man out for the majority um, of our relationship. So, well, that's about the abortion.